So measuring GDP by expenditure. As you can see, what I have here is a formula for GDP. It is consumption plus investment plus government plus exports minus imports. And I have abbreviated, give them, gave them some abbrevi abbreviations to represent them. C, I, X, and M. And we can we can shorten this for GDP equals C plus I plus G plus X minus M. That's what GDP equals. Now, from our bread example that we did in the last video, the bread example, remember that from the bread example, we as the customers bought $500 worth of flour and $1,500 worth of bread. So in total, we bought $2,000 worth of uh, goods. Now, using this formula, we're going to get the same answer, and that is 2000 using this formula. We calculated 2000 through a long process that we that we call value added in the last video. Now in this video, I'll show you how we can use this new formula to get the same answer. Now since we haven't talked about imports, exports, government, or investment yet, and we didn't really exemplify that in our example, we just cross those out. So we just cross these out. And all we have left is consumption. Now, as we've seen in our example, we consumed $500 worth of flour and $1,500 worth of bread. So in total, that is $2,000. And that's how we get our GDP. Simple as that. And look at all this work that we did in the last video. And compare that to the work we did here. It's a lot of work saved. Now, I'm going to talk about GDP limitations and finish this video to make it really short. GDP limitations. So, what is GDP limitation? Well, what I mean to say is, what are the limitations from GD for uh, GDP that we can use to measure, to easily measure our gross, uh, how much we produce in our own country. So, some things that the GDP fail to measure, that they fail to measure, fail to measure, things that they fail to measure or express as change. So, GDP doesn't measure uh, the, the underground economy that well, or the black market as we can call it. Since everything is unrecorded in the underground economy, so unrecorded transactions, unrecorded, we can't measure the changes that happen in the underground economy. And same goes for non-market benefits and costs. Non-market benefits, benefits and costs. And examples of these would be our emotions. So I'll just give us a smiley face for emotions and trust. These are some human issues that GDP cannot express or measure the quality of products the quality of life these are things that GDP can't really measure quality of product or life GDP can't really measure my life and I'm a typical person with the life that some super rich fella has and and the last, the last thing I want to, the last factor that I want to talk about is environment. 
you know that uh, pollution it limits the country's GDP pollution limits the limits the country's GDP limit GDP but it's pretty hard to uh, to measure pollution or to to uh, to accurately uh, record the, ch the, the change for pollution so that redirects to the in, to the environment and that's a limitation for that the GDP has for the environment and that's pretty much all I want to talk about uh, today the ne next thing we're gonna talk about in the next video is nominal and real GDP and real GDP so sit tight and I'll be back with you in the next video